What's going on YouTube? Today's cut, I will be demonstrating a faux hawk look. And at the moment, I'm just prepping the canvas before I actually go in, finding the direction that the hair is growing in, uh, making sure I'm combing it in the same direction. And at the same time, finding where I want my silhouette to sit. Uh, here, I'm just prepping the edge up put a little holding spray on it and then making sure I brush those hairs down just so they can lay down and stretch as far as possible. And I can find where that natural uh, edge up is. So here I'm going in with my topaz blade all the way open, um, just scraping at any loose hairs on this edge up. I did have to go in later on in this cut and do that some more because certain areas was kind of covering up the edge up a little bit. Um, so now I'm going in on the edge up and I'm just framing it just so I know where my taper is gonna, um, where my taper is gonna sit on the silhouette of his head shape. Um, I feel like edging it up gives you a, a better reference of where everything is gonna be at before you actually go in for the, um, the kill shot. So, um, making sure it's as straight as I can get it. I know it was growing kind of uneven, so still want to get it to the sharpest spots before trying to make it symmetrical. And now I'm going in with the topaz blade all the way closed, and I'm just creating that silhouette, um, going with his natural head shape, and then just getting the, the basic reference before going in and trying to tidy everything up. Um, Making sure still I get everything as tightened up as possible. Um, not wanting to leave any spaces or anything like that because I do want to create enough space before I go in with my trimmers and um, clean up those bottom guides. So now I'm going in with the blade open and I'm making possibly, I mean, an inch on the silhouette area of a transition. I did have to go in kind of at a, um, a slant just because his hair does grow towards the back of his head. Now with that in mind, I did um, try to slant my blade a little bit just to make sure, um, I try to get as much of those areas as possible and not have to go over it too many times. Um, and here I'm making sure on the edge up, towards his edge up, closest to his edge up, I don't go up as high as I did on the parietal ridge of his edge up and his occipital bone. Um, just because I am gonna enhance this cut and I do wanna have enough space to where I can clean it up if I have to. And I'm gonna be cleaning it up later anyway, so I'm not really stressing the, um, the area that it's in too much. Here, I'm going in with the one and a half comb and I'm just creating that silhouette. I'm making sure um, it's at its natural shape, its natural head shape, and just keeping it consistent all the way through. And I'm going in with the blade closed so I, I had a, a nicer transition. Um, and now here, I'm going in with my magic clip blade halfway open and i'm cleaning up in between that um the blade closed and the blade open that i did earlier with the osters and since um this blade is zero gap i'm able to kind of clean up that bottom guy and get in between that halfway point before um going in all the way open trying to get as close as possible to what i did with the blade open on the osters um, now, basically just flicking into it, kind of using the corners of my blade, as I said before, going in at a slant, making sure I get into those wavy areas and I don't um, stress the curls too much. Now I'm going in with the one comb halfway open, just getting in between that one and a half and um, what I just what I just um, prepped with the, with the blades, open to close. And still making sure I don't go into the edge up too much. As I said before, I'm trying to do something specifically with the edge up, making it or keeping it as prominent as possible. And don't get me wrong. I mean, the enhancements are just an, uh, like an accessory for the cut. It isn't really needed 
on any of my cuts. Here, um, I'm still keeping that same method of halfway open in certain areas. I do make sure that the system is halfway open, all the way closed, then all the way open. Um, thank me later for it. But it does it does work best. And now I'm going in all the way open just to just to clean up as much as possible. And then I am able to go in and close with my one comb just because it does um it does give me enough length, but since it was cutting pretty long, I did want to make sure I had enough of the the length on there because I am going to go in with the clipper over comb method later. So I'm not really stressing um, the way that it's looking now, simply because I'm I'm only using the corners of my comb or my blade, I should say, so I can get in those areas. I'm not trying to create any harsh guys or anything like that since it does um, sanctify the transition between skin taper and faux hog so now i'm going in at the slant still adjusting my blade as i mean adjusting my lever as needed depending on the area that i'm in and i don't want to create anything harsh in his head shape i mean in his um in his wave pattern i still want to make sure i get my taper transition um the, the way it needs to be but i don't want to dig into his um his natural his natural curl pattern so I'm keeping it as natural as possible, still making sure I get um, in those areas, those tight areas. I'm using the corners of my blade still, just because I don't want to create anything harsh. As I said before, I'm still gonna clean everything up later. I don't want to make it to where I have to go up in the taper any higher than I need to, especially if it's only gonna be like a dense area and create a lot of bulk. You might suggest just use the corners of the blade. Um, now I'm finna clean up everything else um, that I'm just detailing, I say, with my zero comb. And I'm, I'm still using the halfway open method to all the way close and then all the way open. Still using the same method, just because um, I'm I'm trying to taper up into this faux hawk I'm trying to create, not down from it, if that makes any sense. Now going in with the clipper over comb method, um, still making sure I keep the blade open. I don't want to cause any any dips or dig into the. Um, the faux hawk any any more than I actually need to. So I'm just, you know what I'm saying, grabbing a little bit, flicking at it, and then once I get done with it, I'm just combing it down, looking at it. Once I check it, then that's whenever I move on. And um, my objective is to keep the, the edge of area still as dark as I can keep it. But here I'm going in with the one comb and I'm just knocking everything down, still making sure that I'm going with the shape of his head shape and the flare of the um, the full hawk. I'm going with it and in the same direction that it's actually growing. As you can see, it's coming together pretty nicely. And this is... Um, a nice technique for whenever you're trying to create a silhouette similar to the client's head shape. Here I'm going in with um, a little bit of mousse and water. I'm gonna style it a little bit, not too much. Um, still trying to keep the natural look going. So here I lock in, I lock in the, the shape that is actually in and I trim everything around it just so that I can give it its own silhouette. Like the silhouette is the faux hawk look and we're keeping it as symmetrical as possible. So I'm just stretching it, cleaning up anything that's hanging 
and making sure he's um he's good to go before he gets out of here. He doesn't want anything just hanging on the edges and stuff like that. So try to clean it up as much as possible. Here just going in cleaning up the edge up a little bit more. Um trying to still get that reference for it. And here I'm going in with um enhancements. I do make my own um combination of enhancements for my clients and um it's it's working pretty well honestly so here i'm just going in and kind of brushing into it a little bit making sure that i'm able to to get it dispersed evenly i know some like the area is still pretty dark but i'm not stressing that at all i just make sure i lock it in before i go in and clean up um, the rest of it because I still have stuff to clean up. So as you can see here, I'm going in with my trimmers and I'm cleaning up those bottom guides. As I said before, I did want to create enough space to where whenever I do go in and clean up, I don't go into my taper too much, kind of at a, um, a nice distance from where my taper actually is. And then what I cleaned up with it earlier, uh, I think it, it helps make the, the guides in the, in the taper less, um, I help or I help with some vanish way better. So that's the reason why I, um, I made sure I kept enough space in between the, the two areas. So here, just still, like I said, cleaning everything up, making sure I get um, the direction that I set the silhouette with earlier. Still trying to keep that same, um, that same direction, you know what I'm saying? Still trying to keep the taper in the same direction. I don't want to go off of what I made as a reference earlier. That's the reason why I did it the way I did it, just so I can still remember what um what direction I, I went in with the taper, <laughs> if that makes sense. Now cleaning everything up uh, on this on this faux hawk, just making sure I um, separate it nicely. This is where I'm going in with the paste, and I'm just um making sure i get a decent style from it i do want to curl it a little bit just so i can um i can have some type of texture on the style before he leaves so i don't want to do too much um honestly i just curl it a little bit and make sure i'm um not going over the same areas too much because like i said we don't want to uh, curl it too much just want to give it a nice a nice texture before before actually putting the finishing touches on it. And um, now I'm just gonna make sure that I get the same shape. And this is what I meant when I was talking about along the edge up, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, he's pretty tired. He's ready to get up out of there. <laughs> and I'm just gonna clean him up some. And here's the final cut. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you like this video, like the video, share with a friend. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. And until next time.